we're in an interconnected world. And the work that you support, the foundational work that you support, is based on, my view, geography, the science of our world. And we can understand this best by understanding a little bit about what this digital technology is all about. It's an information system, much like your financial information systems, your CAMA systems. It's a system for managing and applying geographic knowledge or geographic information. And it starts like other IT systems with the ability to do transactional updates, a living system. And these come from your transactions over the counter and from increasingly real-time sensor networks that give us enriching capabilities on land information and also remote sensing. And then it supports visualization and mapping and analytics and planning people who pivot off of your data sets and then increasingly engagement with citizens, all citizens. I like to think of GIS as a kind of a framework and a process. And this is sort of some, for some of you, fancy talk. But it's a framework and a process for organizing and managing our knowledge. It starts with data management and integration, not just of property records, but all other layers that are correlating with it or coexisting with it. And being able to map it and being able to do analytics with it, and then being able to provide that foundation for all the other parts of society. Planning, understanding, assessing, and then action. This is a heavy number that I'm laying on top of you because I think it's real. You're a foundational, pivotal part of your local governments and the state governments and ultimately our national government a kind of social infrastructure, which can lead not only other organizations, but also ultimately society in total. Mm -hmm.